let them fight more. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Godzilla vs. Kong, the fourth movie in the Monster Universe. The movie stars Millie Bobby Brown, Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry, and Alexander Skarsgård. It's been three years since King of Monsters. This time around, we don't follow uh, Millie Bobby Brown's character around as much. We're focused on Brian Tyree Henry's character, Bernie. He works at Apex. And he's trying to uncover the secrets of Apex. He has a podcast. He's all about the conspiracy theories. Apex is not what they seem. And he's trying to uncover secrets. And then, boom, Godzilla attacks the facility he's at. And I learned from this movie that Godzilla is really, really smart. Like, he starts attacking the facility. And people are like, oh, Godzilla's out of control. But Bernie doesn't believe that. Millie Bobby Brown doesn't believe that. So they're trying to uncover, like, what's going on with Godzilla to make him start attacking after he saved them three, you know, after he saved them three years ago. On the other end, we have the people who are with Kong. And that is Rebecca Hall's character. She's a doctor. She's been studying Kong for 10 years. And they moved him from Skull Island to like this dome that is just like Skull Island, you know, so they can monitor him more. And Kong has this relationship with, with Jaya. And she's a native of Skull Island. Like if you've seen Skull Island, the, the Kong movie, you know, you've seen the natives and everything. And they say that a storm took out all the natives and Kong saved Jaya. So they have that connection. And, you know, she does sign language with him. And Kong responds then to her. And he likes her. And whenever she's around, you can see his demeanor change. You know, Kong is more so the, the human savior in this story because he has a connection with them. And you can see his emotions more. Godzilla is more so, I'm just going to roar and do stuff. Even though he has like a plan, you can see the emotions more with Kong. So you have the two the two monsters and you have the two sets of humans. And that's where the movie kind of sucks, honestly. Because you follow the humans a lot. You know, as they're trying to uncover what's going on behind the scenes. I hated that part. I enjoyed when the monsters are on screen doing stuff. And they do fight. They fight multiple times. And there is a winner. I'm not going to say who is the winner. And I was surprised that they actually went in that direction of showing a monster actually win. And it, it was cool. And the movie is the best when those two are on screen. The majority of the movie, we follow Kong because he's being moved from his home to various places. Um, Apex has this plan to destroy Godzilla, but they need Kong's help to go to this place called Hollow Earth. And it's like, the home of the titans and it's some power there that they can they can harness to fight godzilla and kong is convinced to go there and you know help them so that's where a lot of the adventure goes it's like an adventure for the most part because kong is moving in all these different locations and he has no idea why um but when they are on screen fighting each other it's the most fun and that's why i said i wish they could fight more or just in general, fight other things more because it's the it's the best part of the movie seeing them on screen. Godzilla, in the last thirty minutes, he he shines and it's cool when he's on screen. Again, he's really smart in the things that he does when he's not only fighting but in terms of destroying certain things because he knows something is not right in the atmosphere. Um, it wasn't a whole like Godzilla is not like on site when he sees Kong. It's like he understands something is not right. He'll fight if he has to fight, but he's he's really he's a really really smart Titan, and I, I enjoyed that aspect. I again I wish that they were on screen fighting different things a lot more, and we had less humans. If we we're going to follow any human, I wish we would have followed Millie Bobby Brown's character because we followed her in the previous movie, and along with her father, who also makes an appearance, but he's not in it as much. the The new main character seems to be Bernie because we follow him a lot of the time, and he's cool. He's funny. He has, again, all his theories, which line up with the way uh, Millie Bobby Brown thinks. So it was cool seeing their dynamic, you know, with each other. Um, the other humans, they had this connection with Kong, but we don't really go into any backstory about it. We just know that they have Kong. We don't know how they managed to get Kong to be so chill and cool with them, you know. And I would have probably liked to see that a little bit more. 
But overall, I thought it was a fun movie. It would have probably been a lot more enjoyable in like an IMAX to see them on screen and a big screen like that. But if you got HBO Max, check it out. Uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. What side were you on? I was always Team Godzilla. Um, did you enjoy the movie? Did you hate it? Uh, let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Deuces.